Okay, this is the beginning of my 8088 computer. It's in the early stages right now. All I really have hooked up to it are uh, the 8284A clock generator, which produces a clock rate of around 5 megahertz because it takes a crystal, which you can see right here, and the frequency of this crystal is 14.31818 megahertz. And since the 8284A divides that frequency by three, um, I get a frequency, I wrote it down, let's see if I can find it. I get the frequency of 4.7 six one nine zero four megahertz and the peripheral clock is half that so it's two point three eight zero nine five two megahertz and here's my eighty eighty eight dash two microprocessor uh... there are three different 8088 microprocessors that I know of. The regular 8088 is 5 megahertz. The 8088-2, which is what I have here, can run in 5 megahertz mode, or the maximum is 8 megahertz. And then there's the 8088-1, which can run up to 10 megahertz. And the closer you get to the maximum frequency of the processor um, clock speed, the the better the waveforms have to be for it to generate or, or for it to work properly at that speed. So I've got this running at about five megahertz right now. Four point I forgot again what it was. Four point seven six megahertz. And through all these wires, you can might be able to see, here is one of my 74LS373 chips. Those are used to, to latch the data, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the address that's put on the address bus by the 8088. And over here is the other 74LS373. Sorry, I can't focus very good. I'm using my cell phone because my camcorder's battery is dead and I can't find the charger for it. So, um, and then over here, behind that scope probe right there, yeah, again, you can't really see very good, but that is a 74LS245 data transceiver. Under my finger right here, that is a 74LS00, which is a quad NAND gate, not AND. And over here is a 74LS04, which is a hex inverter. And these two chips here are used to generate the control signals to determine which kind of memory the 8088 wants to access. Because right now I'm going to put, um, well I plan on putting a 2 kilobyte EEPROM, or I should say EEPROM, um, ROM chip. That's a 2816 kilobyte or a two kilobyte ROM chip and that's going to have to be on the upper end of the 8088's one megahertz or sorry one megabyte one megabyte um, memory space and the uh, two kilobyte 6116 SRAM chip is going to be on the bottom of the 8088's one megabyte memory map now these these two chips here, the 74LS00 hex inverter and the 74LS04 quad 
NAND gate are used to help help generate the control signals to help the processor access the right kind of memory that it wants to access. Uh, they use the 20th address line, which is actually A19. They use that to talk to the E prom, which is on the um, upper end of the memory map. And uh, if you can, here I'll show you my uh, the schematics I'm going by here. The triangular shaped symbols are the gates on the uh, 74LS04 hex inverter and these symbols right here are the uh, symbols for the quad NAND gate, the 74LS00 and I'm using the designs out of this book but I'm not actually using a 2716 because that's an EEPROM. I'm using a 2816 EEPROM so I can erase it and rewrite to it. And over here is my uh, little board that I put my reset switch on. And for my equipment, um, here's my multimeter. My Tektronix 2205 20 megahertz oscilloscope and my benchtop power supply. Now I've got the oscilloscope probe channel 1 plugged into my it's plugged in, it's uh, hooked up to the 8088's pin number 25, which is actually address latch enable, or ALE for short. And I'm going to turn on my oscilloscope here. I'll show you the waveforms of it. Okay. And I'm going to apply the power. Adjust this to 5 volts. There we go. And if you can see, there are random spikes on the address latch enable because right now I have no clue what the 8088 is seen because when you power it up there's random data in there only the 8088 knows what it's doing kind of so there it is I'll demonstrate my reset push button switch here so watch the levels drop down to zero when I press it and when I release it it comes back up. In the future I'm gonna add those memory chips like I told you the 2 kilobyte 2816 EE prom and the 6116 2 kilobyte SRAM chip but uh, that's all for now. Stay tuned.